Hello everyone, in this small video we are going to discuss about bin packing problem and three ways in which we can solve the bin packing problem. It's one of the appro approximation problems where it will require us to find some up, uh, do some approximation about the solution of the problem. Alright, what do you mean by bin packing problem? We will be given with some items and their weights and will be given with bins with equal capacities as well. Means we are provided with n number of bins as well and the aim of the problem is to find the minimum number of bins required so that we can accommodate all the items alright so each and every bin will be having equal capacity and the items will be having different weights that's not a constraint for the items our aim is to find the so next comes 7 it cannot be accommodated in the third bin so we will be making use of the fourth bin if we scan through the previous bins also 7 cannot be accommodated anywhere so we will be making use of the fourth bin that is first fit algorithm. Next comes the best fit. So what is best fit? It will try to find the tightest spot to place that item by leaving only smallest empty space remaining in each and every bin. So 11, so 2, 15 will be placed and we can place 2 and 7 because it will, it will be the tightest spot for that without leaving any empty space at all in this bin. So 15 and 5, 17 and 3 will be placed here because that is the tightest part without leaving any empty space in any of these bins. So best fit algorithm will make use of 3 in the best case. Alright. So these are some examples of online algorithms. Some offline algorithms also there. So they are first fit reducing, best fit reducing. So what is the difference between first fit and best fit in online and offline? In first fit decreasing and best fit reducing or decreasing, we will be doing a sorting operation first. Meaning, we will be placing the largest items first before we go for the items which are having lesser weights. So, this is the bin packing algorithm and these are the different ways in which we can uh, pack the bins and we will try so that we can reduce the number of bins required. Uh, thank you. Alright, so we can have this for reference. Means, we cannot have a value less than this lower bound. This is the minimum number of bins required. And we have different algorithms for finding the number of bins required to accommodate all the items. So we can divide them into two different categories. One is online algorithm, the other one is offline algorithm. What is it? What is what differentiates online and offline? In online algorithm, the items will be coming online or during runtime. In offline, we'll be having all the items at hand before we start solving the problem. Alright. And in all the cases we can use uh, these approaches next fit next fit first fit and best fit algorithm what do you mean by next fit and we will take the first item and we will try to accommodate the item in the first bin and if you if the second items come second items item comes we will try to accommodate that item in the current bin if it is not possible we will go for the second bin and if we are placing the second item in the second bin and when the third item come we will concentrate only on the second second bin only all right if the second bin is unable to accommodate that item we'll go for the third bin so that is next fit so we'll try to fit that item in the next possible bin what do you mean by first fit we'll we'll try and use the previous bins as well so we have we have placed some items in the bins and if any new item comes we'll start from the first we'll scan from the previous we'll scan the previous bins as well will try to find one suitable place to accommodate that item in that bin. So if you are unable to do so, then only we will be making use of a new bin. And for your information, one of the assumptions, the major assumption is that all the items are having weights less than the capacity of the bin. Means all the items are having, I mean none of the items can have the weights which is exceeding the capacity. Means you can accommodate the complete item in a single bin. All right. And the third one is best fit. Best fit is one of the uh, one of the approaches which will give you the optimal solution most of the time, which will try and place the item by leaving smallest empty space in each and every bin. So we'll be placing the items in the bin, and we'll be finding the tightest spot to place that item, leaving only a smallest empty space. We'll be leaving only a smallest empty space in that bin. All right. So assume this sample instance of problem. So we are given with seven items and and their weights as well. We are given with 
bins with capacity 20 and if you want to find a rough calculation about the minimum number of bins required we can make use of this formula so total weight divided by capacity total weight is 60 divided by the capacity of the bin is 20 so we will be needing at least three bins to accommodate all the items if not more if not less all right if not more <coughs> so next with algorithm we will be placing the first item in the first bin because the capacity is 20 we can place item first item which is having weight 11 without any problem then the second item 2 so what is next fit it will try to accommodate the item in this same bin if it is not possible it will go for the next bin so 2 can be placed in the first bin Don't, no problem third item is having weight 15 and if it tries and if it tries in the first bin it will not be able to accommodate 15 because it is already accommodated the uh, items of weight 13 so it will go for the next bin 15 15 will be placed in the second bin the fourth item is having weight 5 so it, it can be placed in the second bin without exceeding the capacity so it is completely filled now now go now comes the third one now the fourth fifth item is having weight 3 since the second bin is completely filled we cannot accommodate 3 I mean item 5 in the second bin itself so it goes for the third bin so 3 is placed in the third bin next item is 17 next item is having weight 17 so it can be placed in the same bin without exceeding the capacity 20 the final item will be placed in the fourth bin so in the next fit requires four number of bins to place all these items so what do you mean by first fit it will try and find it will it will try to scan the previous bins as well so 11 is the first item no problem 2 is the second item no problem we can place it in the first bin 15 cannot be placed in the first bin so we will be using the second bin to accommodate that item so fourth item is having 5 so we will be scanning the previous bins as well so first bin is having empty space of 7 so 5 can be accommodated with that so 5 will be placed in the first bin so 3 it cannot be accommodated in the first bin because it will exceed the capacity so it will be placed in the second bin next comes the item of weight 17 it cannot be accommodated in this bin so that bin will be used next comes 7 so next comes 7 it cannot be accommodated in the third bin so we will be making use of the fourth bin if we scan through the previous bins also 7 cannot be accommodated anywhere so we will be making use of the fourth bin that is first fit algorithm next comes the best fit so what is best fit it will try to find the tightest spot to place that item by leaving only smallest empty space remaining in each and every bin so 11 so 2 15 will be placed and we can place 2 and 7 because it will it will be the tightest part for that without leaving any empty space at all in this bin so 15 and 5 17 and 3 will be placed here because that is the tightest part without leaving any empty space in any of these bins so best fit algorithm will make use of 3 in the best case all right so these are some examples of online algorithms some offline algorithms also there so they are first fit reducing best fit reducing so what is the difference between first fit and best fit in online and offline in first fit decreasing and best fit reducing or decreasing we will be doing a sorting operation first meaning we will be placing the largest items first before we go for the items which are having lesser weights. So this is the bin packing algorithm and these are the different ways in which we can uh, pack the bins and we will try so that we can reduce the number of bins required. Uh, thank you.